Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we will learn how to connect to PostgreSQL and PHP. So let's start. So first, uh, let me show you the PG Admin 4. Here we have created this um, CRUD demo database and inside this CRUD demo, we have this users table and inside this users tables, we have these three records. So we will retrieve these three records and show it in a table. First, I will go to Visual Studio Code and here we will create a PHP file. I'll create a postgre.php at enter. So first I will create the HTML uh, boilerplate. So for that I will use a shift and one. It will show me this uh, exclamation sign and if I hit enter so it will automatically create the HTML boilerplate. Now we will use the PHP tags inside this. So I'll use uh, PHP and then the closing tag. Our PHP tags are created, so now I'll use a, a host equal to, as we are using the local installation of PostgreSQL, so we will use localhost, then it takes the port. So for port, I will use dollar port equals 5432, which is the default port of PostgreSQL. Then it takes the DB name, which is current underscore demo, and then it takes the user, this is our user, and then it takes the password, and this is our password. You can use your own password. Now we will create the connection. So dollar pawn equals pg underscore connect, and here it takes the connection string. So first is host, dollar host, then it takes the port, dollar port, then it takes the DB name, then it takes the user, and then it takes the password. Now we will put semicolon at the end. So now our connection is created. For this pg underscore connect function to work, you need to enable the extension of PostgreSQL and your php.ini file. I have already activated it, but let me show you. So I'll go to this folder, this PC, C, XAMPP, and to this PHP. And here I'll search for PHP data in I file this one and I'll open with Visual Studio Code and I will search here for extension. You can see right here extension PG is given. So you have to activate this. You have to remove this semicolon in front of it. By default, it is not activated. So you have to activate it. So now we will close this and we will again go to our PHP file and here we will use if not dollar con then do what die error and connection dot pg underscore lost error so it will show us the error if the connection does not establish we will go out of this and we will create our query dollar query is equal to select steric from users which is our table now we will execute the query so for that we will use dollar result equals pg underscore query and it takes the connection dollar con comma and then dollar query and now i'll put semicolon at the end and we will use f not dollar result then do what die and um, error is dot pg underscore lost error and i'll put semicolon at the and so now as we have got all the data in this result so we will go out of this php tags and we will create an h2 heading and here we will use users as below and now we will go out of this and we will create an html table i'll use a table we will create a tr and inside this tr we will use th and i will use id and then we will use a th another heading this will be name and then we have another th and this will be email because we have these columns inside our table and then we have created it so we have created headers now we will get the data from our result and show in each row now again we will use our php tag start a php tag and then we will end our php tag and here we will use while loop while dollar row equals pg underscore fetch associate array and we will pass in the dollar result here and we will start the curly brace but we will end it outside here we will end it but well, first we will create a php tag ending start tag and then the end tag so now we are good to go outside this php tag we will create our tr close the tr enter we will use td and close the td and here we will get the data so we will use uh, php start tag 
with equal and then we will use a dollar row and we will get the id and then we will use the closing php tag so now i'll copy this and i will do the same for other one as well this will become name this will become email and this will become created underscore eight if i show you the columns so it is id name email and create it at so now you will go again here so now our code is complete but i will paste some css style inside this header so that it looks better so i have already copied it so i'll paste it right here and i will control s this file so now our code is complete so let's run it and let's check if it is working so i'll right click on this and i'll use php server serve project so now you can see that it has shown an error undefined variable dollar con on line 46 so we will check this so this is not con this is double n so i'll control this it again so now I'll right click on this first stop the server and then start the server again and as you can see we have fetched all the data and shown here all the three records are shown here so in this way you can connect to postgreSQL and php and fetch data and show in a table so i think that's all for today i hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you